it's Valentine's Day, but I can guarantee you one team's leaving Franklin County with a broken heart. Number 10 East Hall and Banks County squaring off for the 7 AAA Championship. Kyvon Davenport versus Austin Venable, part three this season. Leopards come in with a six game win streak and check out the shorts. Swagalicious indeed. This one would not be as close as we had hoped, but just moments in it, Venable throws one down the cylinder. Coach Mike Cleveland likes what he's seeing early on. The second chance basket, good. Venable would close with eight points if that's any indication to how the rest of this one went. You might be right. Kyvon Davenport draws contact and notches the bucket. This is about to get swagalicious here. Tyler Brown flies down the baseline and in 9-4 Vikings lead. Jacqueline Hopkins stopping pop three. And this was hilarious. Incoming. Kyvon Davenport like a freight train. Poor Hopkins never saw that one coming. Coach Joe Dix ready for this team to take its first region title since 2011. Kamal Wiley ends the dry spell, cuts the deficit to 12-6. Davenport just ridiculous. 14 first quarter points really sets the tone here. All this part of a 27-7 run to open the game. Two more in a trip to the charity stripe. Meanwhile, Wiley adds another basket, but a little deja vu. Davenport has his way again, pushes the lead to 23-9. Tristan Cooper adds an awkward range shot. And who else would close out the quarter but Davenport? His second three of the quarter and his 30-11 going into the second, a blowout already. And if it ain't broken, don't fix it. Stick with Davenport, gets his own miss and put back. East Hall opens the second with a 12-2 run. Hopkins a pull up Jay. More Kai Vaughn and one. He missed the freebie but gets another to go down the hatch. 23 points for Kai Vaughn Davenport in the first half alone. Check out Tyler Brown's layup. Toilet bowls around the rim and drops. Finally interrupted here by Zed Steeple's running layup, but the good fortune continues for East Hall. Cooper hits two triples in the last 14 seconds of the half. This one the latter, and it's 58-25 into the break. Venable takes his frustration out on the rim. Bright spot in an otherwise forgettable game for these guys. Davenport back to work. Venable, his last basket of the night right there. Wiley follows with an acrobatic layup. And then again, Kai Von Davenport drives in and scores again, as does Jacqueline Hopkins, 66-38. We move to the fourth. Davenport finished with 37. Wanted this region title so bad as you could tell. Basketball is a game of runs, and the Vikings get another one. 8-0 run to open the last frame. Zach Orr had a few late baskets for the Leopards, and one earns a trip to the line. Gets another one to go, but East Hall wins this one handedly. 83-62 your final. Vikings look similar to the type team that won multiple state titles in the mid-2000s. We will find out soon enough. East Hall hosts Jefferson in the opening round. Banks will host East Jackson. All region members included Zach Orr, Zed Steeple, and co-players of the year, Kyvon Davenport and Austin Venable. A new season begins for both teams as Banks goes to 23-5 and East Hall to 22-5.